sing out for our self-driving cars. Come. Of course. They have become autonomous. I've been hearing about these for so long. It's almost as if I've seen them before. I suppose the car has been driven by. By artificial intelligence, yes. Whoa, look out! Don't worry, Frank. AI is capable of adapting in real time to anything unexpected that comes up during the journey. You've managed to combine big data, ethics, and artificial intelligence? That's amazing. Massive amounts of training data are required for deep learning to work properly. The more data available, the more accurate the predictions will be. And that's where the Internet of Things comes into play. In the future, there will be sensors everywhere. The slightest change in the road will be recorded. In addition, all smart cars will become interlinked. They will share their itineraries. Even data from smartphones will be included to predict where drivers or pedestrians want to go. Creating a vast network of information. That's right, Frank. Thanks to fog computing, each car will be its own mobile ecosystem and be part of mobility. By bringing together all smart cars, an immense, incredibly powerful collective intelligence will be created. And all with a single mission. To improve and automate traffic management. Traffic jams will become a thing of the past. And not only traffic jams. Wow. That's impressive. In fact, the only cause of car accidents will be malicious agents. You mean hackers? Exactly. All vehicles with an open network will be facing an increasing number of cyber criminals. Hacking will be the greatest danger to drivers. This is why we're investing massively in new security technologies to protect the data and all the systems. The big challenge consists of protecting, virtualizing and storing all this information. In order to do this, Enormous data centers located all over the globe must be built. If you get bored, a huge infotainment system is available for you to use. Also, your car connects automatically to your work account. You can answer mails, make video calls, or do personal things, like editing your holiday videos, or even go shopping. Although, if you really want to, you can drive yourself. Everything you've shown me, it proves I'm on the right track. But to develop technology like this, you need capital. You need experience. Luckily, our brand has more than the both. The only problem is that brand loyalty will be less and less important over the years. Customers will be familiar with car sharing services and will no longer be attached to the brand. Mobile communication is, go is going to be key. Without um, high performance, performance mobile communication, there won't be any autonomous driving. Although the car has its own intelligence um, in the vehicle itself and is self-sufficient, self-contained, you still need online connections where you transfer data in both directions, bi-directional, uh, the whole time, in, in, in very high um, data loads. So, so we need a new infrastructure. The one today will not be sufficient. We all know that. That's why 5G is such a very, very important and relevant technology to make autonomous driving um, happen. The automotive industry is undergoing significant change and challenge. What's your view on that? I mean, in a nutshell, the biggest change is for more than 100 years, we have built automobiles, vehicles based on physics, right? Products on the street you can touch. And now we're adding a completely new element, which is information technology. So software is becoming a part of the vehicle and a, a part of the user experience. Well, if software is such an important part of the vehicle, the perception of the driver, well, or the owner of the vehicle will change. What is the path into the future in your view? 
I mean, if you look at our old term called Fahrvergnügen, the joy of, of riding a vehicle, that has always been a physical experience. You, you touch the product, you feel it, you drive with it, you have a feeling of acceleration, and that's how um, our customers define the experience. That will change. We'll have a new element added, added to it, which is called user experience. The whole thing around the vehicle, how you interact with the vehicle, how you operate the vehicle. Also in the digital world, um, apps suddenly become important to manage the car, to, to make um, appointments at the dealership. So that's a complete new level of experience, which called digital Fahrvergnügen probably. But if there's so much software-driven functionality coming to the vehicle, will that be safe? I mean, security is one of the biggest issues that we are facing. Security and privacy, by the way. If you look at security, um, cyber security um, is what we call uh, is, um, security by design. It's built has to be built in. Um, you have to upgrade your product over time, like a smartphone with patches. But it has to be in the enter the market, the cars enter the market with the highest potential security. As we IT people all know, they will never be 100% security. But um, it's always a race to make sure that we provide the highest security. So it's a very big issue and, and also a concern that we take serious.